We're really hoping there's gonna be some kind of surprise, but we don't want to get our hopes up. But I'm getting my hopes up. Yeah, mm, yeah we're Sorry. getting our hopes up. We just filmed some TikToks. We're about to get ready. We got breakfast before. We also made some little friendship bracelets, but we are so excited. Yeah. Okay, so we're in our Airbnb right now. It's honestly a lot darker than I thought, but we are going to get ready. I'm dressing up as I bet you think about me, Taylor. My dress is right there. You guys have seen it in a bunch of my videos, but I need to get ready really quickly and then we'll show you guys. Okay, so here's my outfit. Like I said, I'm I bet you think about me, Taylor. So <laughs> I'm like watching Lauren making TikToks outside the window. Wait, let's see if she'll see us. <laughs> Why is that? I'm so sorry. This is so funny. I love you, Lauren. She's killing it though. She really is killing it. <laughs> I don't know if you heard her. She screamed. She goes, I'm gonna turn this light on so you guys can see me better. So the dress, I got it from one of those like websites that kind of rips off big designers because granted, I wanted to get this outfit, but it was sold out. I think it was like $500. I wouldn't pay $500, but it was sold out. So I got it from there. Then I got altered. You guys saw that in some of the vlogs. And then I made this flower crown. I got these flowers from Michaels. I made it like a day before I left. And then I have these silk gloves, which I cannot use my phone or any technology with because it won't let me. But these silk gloves, I feel like is what like complete the look. So let's, let's go like this right and these are from amazon so this is look i realized i forgot my shoes it didn't say what shoes she wore and the music video i didn't show so i was gonna wear white cowboy boots and then i forgot them at home so i'm just gonna have to wear like my white sneakers that i wore on the plane which my feet will be very comfortable so i'm not complaining this is it this is what we're here we just parked julia's in the car it's sprinkling a little bit but it's not too bad it's increasingly sprinkling yeah Oh yeah! We got the blue crew next! Ah! Ah! We are so close! Oh my gosh!
thrill and a delight it is to say these words to you. Los Angeles, California, welcome to the Eras Tour! I'm not sure if you know this, but if you didn't know this, you have decided to attend this tour on not only the last night of our sixth show run on SoFi City. You have also decided to attend this concert on the very last show of the American leg of the Eras Tour. And so, because of this decision you have made to attend this concert, you're gonna have to deal with my emotions. And I don't know if you've heard about this or not, but I have a lot of them. So, here's why. This has been the most extraordinary, fun, wonderful, magical experience of my entire life, being on this tour with these people on this stage. And I just was hoping that for a second, we could think about the fact that there are hundreds of people on this tour my amazing crew members, the people who load in the stage, they load it out of the they put it on trucks, they're traveling across the country, away from their families to put on this show for us. And so I would like to take a moment, if we could all please applaud the Eras Tour crew. Now the Eras Tour, I look at this tour and what we do as a team sport, and I'm up here with some of the most amazing performers that teach me and challenge me and thrill me to be beside them every single night. And I hope that as you're watching us do this show for the next three and a half hours, you will pay attention to them and their art and their craft and what they've been dreaming about doing for their entire lives. Will you please give it up for my fellow performers that you have seen so far on the stage? about to go on a little adventure together and that adventure is going to span 17 years of music and we're going to do this one era at a time LA. And here's my, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you my little secret dream for this evening. Here's my goal. These are songs that I've written about my life or my feelings or something that happened with me. After tonight, when you hear these songs out in the world, my goal is that you're going to be thinking about tonight and the memories we made here at SoFi Stadium together.
just, I'm so proud of it. And I, um, I, I look back on it and I just, I'm just like, I feel really um, grateful to you guys for letting me experiment with different types of music and, and, and just, you know, I'm all over the place when it comes to genre. I've never really, um, I've never really subscribed to the belief system that an artist has to exist in one genre. And you guys have always just encouraged that. And that's the only reason I'm able to experiment and play like I got to do with folklore. And it really, really came at a time when I needed it so much. I started writing folklore. Um, Why are you not playing? Can you hear that? Yeah, you can? Well, that's all that matters. So, um, <laughs> I started writing folklore about there goes the loudest woman this town has ever seen. Do you want to scream? Don't call me Kate. Don't call me baby. I'm just making a mess that you made. To go. Don't make a diamond.
Okay, you guys, I'm finally back home. What time is it? It is 1.18 a.m. I cannot believe that happened. I genuinely cannot believe that happened. When she wrote, I, I can't even speak clearly. Okay, first of all, everyone, the energy of the room was like, we think she's gonna announce 1989, Taylor's version. I've noticed that every single time she's like announced something or done something special on tour, the very first speech that she has, like right before she sings Lover, she gives like a little speech before she announced Speak Now, before she showed the Karma music video, before she announced like the I Can See You music video. She always was like, I have something up my sleeves. We have a really fun show in store for you guys today. And she didn't do that for this show. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna keep my expectations low. When she came out, Enchanted in the blue dress. I was like, huh? but here's the thing about the enchanted blue dress. I saw like a sliver of it. And I'm like, oh my god, it's blue. Everyone around us like hears me scream that, and they're like, ah, oh, and, and then I look again. And I'm like, oh my god, it looks silver. Oh my god, what did I just? I just, you know false information, spreading misinformation. It all worked out though, because it was blue. And then she came out in blue for the folklore. And after that, I was like, okay, this, if she, this. And then I was like, if she comes out in blue for 1989, she came out in blue for 1989. I honestly do not remember at all her announcing it. 
I don't remember it. I feel like it didn't happen. I am completely sober, but I blacked out. I was just so excited that I just don't remember any of it. I need to take these eyelashes off. Ow, that actually really hurt. I'm gonna maybe do that later. These are these things are like really attached to my eyeballs. I said I was gonna do it later, but I guess I'm gonna do it now. Ow, no, these things, why? I've never actually like been in pain taking off false eyelashes. I guess there's a first time for everything. I just cannot believe that this happened. Like this is the craziest. I, I have no words. We got that I got this shirt. I wanted the large, like an oversized look. All they had was like triple XL, so I got one of those. I think they changed the supplier from night one because these are a lot like softer, nicer quality than the ones that I got for night one. And then we got the blue crew neck. I feel like I'm just so tired that I can't think properly and I have no idea what happened. She was so close to us too, especially when she was singing the archer. I was like, oh. but it was the best night. We just, everything was just going right. I'm just so happy. I'm just so happy I was there. I'm so happy we went to this show and just, I could cry. I, I did cry actually. I cried. Did you guys just see that too? The flicker of the light? The door is closed. I cried during Marjorie. I cried a little bit during Tolerated, surprisingly. And I cried a little bit during Long Live. I'm just so happy. I like, I feel like this vlog, I don't even know what's happening in it, but I'm just, the post-concert depression is hitting for sure. <laughs> I'm just so happy, you guys. I'm just gonna keep re-watching these videos over and over and over. I feel like my reaction is like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, it's just the most accurate thing. But I'm gonna go to bed, finally, and then I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Hello guys, it's the next day. We are currently in, are we in San Clemente? Yeah. We just got lunch with our friend Lauren. We're at the beach, it's so beautiful here. I don't know why I was playing. I don't, anything, do you know what we're doing next? No, we need to look We don't know up. what we're doing next. <laughs> but we're at the beach and it's so beautiful. The weather is like incredible here. We also all woke up so exhausted. I think we went to bed at like two or 3 a.m. last night and we woke up seven something, eight, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But we're here, we're alive. The Grammy Museum has a Taylor Swift exhibit. It's like the I Can See You exhibit from her newest music video. So we're about to go in there. Never been so excited. Well, <laughs> just kidding. Yesterday I was more excited for the concert. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm on like a few hours of sleep, so I feel like I can't function. But we are very excited. Spotted. Taylor Swift 1989 album there. I wonder if there's one for folklore and for fearless around here. Probably be. I mean, there might be on these ones. It'd probably be very far because that was years ago. But maybe. Wait, is this getting higher or lower? Oh. 15. Okay, never mind. This is hilarious. Love this. And then they gave this this little itinerary thing. These are her lyrics that she wrote for. What is that? I can't, White Horse, Tim McGraw, and then Run. I wish they put them more in eye lines so we can read them. We were saying all these Grammys look so much smaller in person than they do on TV. I wonder if like, because these are older, so I wonder if they've gotten uh, they've bigger, got bigger since. Yeah, they're from the 1960s. They look very vintage, obviously, because they are. They're so cool. Oh, there's even more Grammys and like lyrics. So this first floor, or second floor, I guess, has all of these lyrics and original handwriting to songs. Obviously, we fangirled over Taylor. Oh, look at this. Is Taylor on here? This is incredible. Look, Taylor, Harry, already. <gasps> oh, <laughs> our queen. I love her. Look at it. Oh my gosh, she wore that. Oh my god. Oh my god, and then Harry Styles. I'm like really I didn't fangirl. I how like that looked. I know. Like the material of it. It looks itchy. <laughs> Oh my god. This one's Olivia's. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is some more of Olivia's stuff. Her hands are so small. <gasps> oh my god, look. Look, 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 look. Their shoes. Oh my god, she wore those shoes. Look at how big his shoes are in comparison to hers. That's insane. We're gonna walk this red carpet. <laughs> Look at Shakira's sparkly guitar. Oh, that is beautiful. I, want one. I don't know how to play, but I want one. It's cool, like seeing like the little like nicks and like imperfections in them, you know? Oh, yeah, because like they, you know. Like this was actually used. <laughs> so pretty. This is the I Can See You exhibit. I'm so excited for this. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm like actually freaking out. <gasps> I've never seen this dress close up. I didn't realize it was sequins. Oh my god. 
better than Revenge. This was like all of her fun songs. <laughs> Enchanted. The electric guitar from mine. Haunted. Long live. Love story. Oh my god. I'm so glad we did this, you guys. This is so fun. The Enchanted dress is my favorite thing she's like ever worn. I remember I like fully gasped when she came out of the audience with it. Oh my gosh. So cute. We found her fearless one right by the entrance. Iconic. Yeah, so iconic. That car. was so fun. What was it your was guys' so favorite cool. parts? It was so cool. Oh. Uh, I really liked the Grammy outfit. Yeah. That was good. That was cool. I really like geeked out over those Speak Now tour outfits. I, was, yeah, I was yeah. cool to see like the old outfits. Yeah, oh my god. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe she still has those. No. And then we just found the folklore one. <laughs> so cool. I love seeing this. We were starving, so we just went to Air One. We all got smoothies. And then I got this little sushi sandwich. I was talking to a girl when I was in the line, and she was like, that thing is incredible. And I was like, I cannot wait to eat it. <laughs> so, and then look at how pretty mine is. What did you get, Lauren? I got this sushi triangle. You look so pretty in this clip, look. Look at how pretty you look. Oh, you look so pretty. What did you get? This, this, <laughs> this. <laughs> and this, and then Do you eat fish? Yeah, I just, I thought that's what I grabbed and it wasn't. Uh, I'm doing with this. <laughs> Do you like it? I'm really excited to try this. It has tuna in it. We're gonna try this. I, the girl really hyped it up that I was talking to in line. She was like, that thing's incredible. My mouth is like watering just thinking about this. I took a really big bite. <laughs> it's good, but I don't think it's as good as everyone was hyping it up to be. <laughs> oh my god, Julia! <laughs> Julia's roll just fell apart. Oh, <laughs> Look at how cute this is. There's like a little Dior pop-up, but apparently it closed an hour and a half ago, so we're a little late. I've never been inside of this. I've only been outside. Look how cute it is. And like, look at this door. It's also cute. And I love that it's pink. We're looking, he said that we can like look at the pop-up even though it's not open. And we're like, yeah. <gasps> this is so beautiful. Oh yeah. Yep. The yep, girlies. yep, me too though. We're in the garden and like look at how cute this is. It's stunning. I'm glad they let us back here. We met this worker and she was really sweet, but she's like, you might not be allowed to get anywhere without it being like a guest. And we're like, we'll try. And she was so nice. Look how cute this is. Wait, guy, take like a... Okay, that's cute. That will be a good screenshot. We just got back to our Airbnb and now we're about to pack up everything. Lauren leaves tonight and then Julie and I leave tomorrow. So we're trying to get everything ready. So, no, we're in the parking place. Party. 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 I think you're straight. I'm so Can they sorry. not be rude? Helping me get my lunch one. Walk up to our car as we're hugging. I thought she was I gonna know, steal I our camera. I was like, I, that's when I ran to my camera. I was yeah. like, no. It's our last day. Julia and I are only ones left. We're about to lock up our Airbnb and get everything ready. And then we're gonna head to the airport. My flight is delayed. Yours isn't delayed anymore. No. <laughs> we don't know. We'll figure it out. But sad to leave this beautiful Airbnb. It's so cute.